high fishing with Oz Guy again. Uh, last night I've been down the waterfront again and caught a nice lot of fish again. So I'm just going to give you a look at what I caught again. Uh, I got some nice sized mullet. That's a big mullet that one. Um, one black brim. This guy here. We're not bad eating. It's got a skin them while they're a bit bitter. Um, a few other a few other big mullet there. A few gar, these big stubby gar. They're nice eating them, they're nice and sweet and they got really white meat. That's why they call him a snubby gar because he's only got a short beak. Um, there's the long nose gar. He's got a long nose. And the snubby gar, the one underneath at the bottom, he has a short beak. So, different fish. Same species but just different fish. So you call him a snubby gar. So yeah. Yeah, so that's a pike, pike fish, what we call in Australia, that's our pike. He's alright to eat, he's got a bit of soft flesh, but if you clean him properly and get him refrigerated, he's alright. More mullet, that's a flat tail mullet. That's a different species of mullet to the bull mullet. That's a bull mullet there, that one. And that one's a flat tail. He's, he's different. You can see his scales are different as well. He's got a different tail set up as well. Yeah. Another flat tail. They're a smaller species, the flat tail. Hey boy, I can see you there looking. What you want? You want some fish? <laughs> Alright, I'll get into it and clean it up now. That's the pain in the ass, cleaning it all all the time, cleaning the fish. Okay. Okay, I'm back again. Just finished cleaning all the fish. Just wanted to let you see how many fillets I've got. These are the gar fillets. See how nice the gar fillets are? If you know how to clean them and get the rib bones out, you can get a nice fillet off a gar. A good chewing. Got some roe. I love eating the mullet roe. Some nice big fillets. Awesome. So yeah, there's all the frames. What's left over? So what I'll do, I'll drag me pots out tonight, me crab pots, and I'll go and throw a few crab pots in. See if I can catch some mud crabs. Okay. See you next time. Bye.